Hey, welcome to another edition of What the Fuck, Happy YouTube Atheist Community, and I right, chat, conversation such. <laughs> yeah, it's not, still, still ain't doing it right. Um, still working on stuff, and such, you know, have to do better. Uh, you know, working on it. Really nice day, but it'll be the last until the rains come and the cold comes back. But, whatever, spring, that's the way it works. So last night was uh, adequate, uh, pretty much six hours. Um, the conversation moved along, but, you know, there is a redundancy to it all that I have to do something about. Um, and, uh, you know, the arguments are, have been, have been there, done that, been there, done that. And there's gotta be some sort of way to avoid <laughs> being there and doing that. Um, yeah, you know, I really don't want to be in the business of individually, uh, you know, doing it the hard way, you know, finding a disagreement and going back to the beginning and how there's no God and there's no this and, there's no that and that's why this all makes sense and blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, there's got to be some sort of rule, <laughs> you know, that, uh, you know, to, to be a part of the conversation, you you have to, uh, you know, have knowledge of all the previous conversation, the arguments that have already been made, some kind of thing like that. And, uh, you know, then let people participate from a position of knowledge rather than ignorance and all that crap. Uh, yeah. To, to get out of the redundancy, I suppose. Again, I probably should do subjects exclusively and then have people ready to discuss those subjects. Blah, 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 something like that. But, uh, I haven't done any of that. And, uh, I just haven't. It doesn't look like it's going to happen tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. I'm still working on the idea of, uh, you know, the performance art of all of this. Coming up with some more brilliant performance. Instead of doing this uh, kind of chaotic play, you know, do the organized from beginning to end story. And uh, something like that. And uh, so I'm doing the vlogger dome thing again. Um, you know, trying to segment the conversations and do them properly and decisively and all that crap uh, and such. So anyway, uh, what else? Uh, so yeah, you guys, uh, usual characters in Tiny Chat. The Twain crew guy was at the end there. It was pretty good. We just had a nice conversation back and forth. It was quite adequate. And, uh, yeah, I, you know, it was, it was a chick of some kind. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what she was. A little girl, or I don't know, who knows. Doesn't matter. She had interesting eyes. And, uh, she spoke rather um, intelligently. <laughs> yeah, so it was okay. It went all right. Uh, yeah, it was a good enough evening for its purposes. Our old fan was missing, so hopefully she's uh, not too distressed, but probably some sort of problem. <laughs> she's been blighted lately. Uh, you know, <sighs> life. Um, this camera angle just doesn't suit me. Yeah. I'm gonna point it that way. That's probably better. Probably a camera on a stick kind of idea. Trying to get better focal length. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know if that's even possible. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, it does matter in terms of this performance bit. Um, uh, but obviously I'm not making it a priority, obviously. Uh, a little bit of wind, I didn't account for that. Took the wrong camera, not the wind camera. <laughs> so we'll have to uh, compensate a 
appropriately. Uh, I'll have to decide here whether I'm going to work or going to play. <laughs> yeah, I really have it. It's a discretionary choice kind of day. Do I <clears throat> do the work I have to do tomorrow today or do I do the work I have to do tomorrow some other day? It might rain tomorrow. So it's probably a good plan to go today. Come back later for this. I hide things. Yeah. Rock. Stuff hidden by rock. I remember that. Alright. So it'll be a working day. And if I'm not too tired on the way home, I need some golf balls. Uh, anyway. Um, so what else is news? Uh, yeah, the Magic Sandwich Show last week wasn't too bad in terms of the conversation about what, uh, what accounts for truth. And I'm still thinking about that, those kind of ideas. And, uh, you know, that's, you know, because all this conversation is just trying to get to some sort of, uh, you know, put the ideas in order, uh, you know, and create these logical proofs. And whether we're talking about physics or ethics, uh, the economy, you know, no matter what it is, you're just after some sort of theme, uh, you know, that cuts through all the bullshit and gets to, you know, some sort of ordered conversation. And, uh, you know, I, I'm still looking for that in terms of trying to... Uh, force that issue, you know, force the conversation uh, to be more, ugh, piece of asphalt, might be good for throwing, oh, the throwing of the asphalt, yeah. <laughs> uh, it really is just a summer day kind of thing, <laughs> yeah, it feels good, uh, mostly. <coughs> Except they'll probably give me an allergy attack. And uh, such. So I am of feeble character lately. Uh, but I think better than I have been anyway. That was a hopeful sign of, you know, maybe I'll be able to get a little more out of myself. And uh, get this project done. And uh, such. Uh... I, yeah, I just don't like that you have to do this art thing. You have to do this, uh, you know, conform it to the sensibilities and comforts of the audience. It's just sad that the audience is, requires that. You know, I can just lament the fact that, uh, you know, I always wanted the substance over the show, personally. Uh, wasn't too interested in the, you know, fancy show bits as I was the, you know, information bits. You know, I'm not so interested in the personalities. You know, if the substance flow <laughs> a tree limb, almost deflected it. Uh, you know, I probably should take videos more seriously than throwing rocks during the video, right? Yep. Uh, that's sort of the place I am in, is, <laughs> yeah, I'm just searching for some other solution still. Some, something that clicks and you say, yep, that's the way to go. So I'm still kind of searching for the best direction. Uh, and, uh, let's see what happens. I mean, there's no point in making promises. Because, you know, I haven't kept too many of those. I might switch for a better rock. This one is bigger. Sorry, no offense. You know, this one's not quite what I'm looking for either, though. A little more weight. A little more roundness. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and now for something completely unlike the previous portion. Yeah, those kind of tricks. Yes, expect to have those kind of tricks. Um, you know, just to keep brains occupied, keep them engaged. You know, you got to keep 
pulling pigeons and rabbits out of the hat, uh, you know, to keep people interested. And, uh, you know, I hate that, but got to play the game on their field because, yeah, they have all the, you know, the power is in their hands, not mine. And, uh, you know, my only power is in, uh, you know, affecting their power kind of thing. So I have to do it by the game rules, per se, and such. Um, all right, what else? Yeah, this, you know, hopefully they made a sort of physics video. and I do want to respond to it, but I just don't know how distracted I want to get, uh, you know, you know, doing the physics stuff. Uh, so it does take a lot of mental energy, <laughs> you know, when you start contemplating physics. Uh, you really have to get into it kind of completely, uh, you know, to start to, you know, conceptually um, making it intuitive, you know, to your sensibilities and being able to model it and control the model. As this gets very complex because of the the mass of the substance and the you know size, the imperceptibility, <laughs> the incomprehensibility of the um, the world's you know the smallness of the small you're trying to imagine and the volume of it is so daunting to gain. Uh, you know, mental appreciation for what's going on. Uh, you know, it's like the speed of light is so fast, <laughs> you know, compared to throwing rock in air and catching it. And so, you know, the brain works kind of on this level in terms of our consciousness. It's on this rock goes up, rock comes down, kind of blah, blah, you know, and the universes at this, you know, 257,000 miles a second kind of frame rate, <laughs> you know, frame rate so high, uh, you know, that so much is happening, you know, in each, you know, this is an eternity almost of time from the photon's point of view, it's a very long time, just this going up and coming back down. So much happened on a subatomic level. So anyway, I don't want to get on the subject. I guess I'm sort of just talking about, about the subject. How the subject is difficult for reasons. And I'm explaining those reasons. Horse coming. Horses get nervous when you're having holding rocks. I have to hold the rock and, uh, so we can't see it. Yeah. A nice day anyway. You're beautiful, huh? Kind of a party chick. <laughs> He's one of those people who talks to everybody and knows everybody and uh, just too uh, <laughs> yeah, too too caught up in it, human. Oh, way too caught up in it. Anyway. Um now, where was I? Yeah, so I don't want to get in that conversation. Uh, but yeah, I do, I do hopefully make a response video. But I feel like they doesn't give me any details to feed on. And what I really need is, you know, like in the argument about uh, acceleration and the speed of sound, I need people to make the counter argument so I can defeat it, as I did in that case, pointing out that wave functions uh, have variability <laughs> in acceleration in their creation. To make a wave, you have to accelerate quickly, and then you have to decelerate at the peak and change direction. And those changes, the math is always dealing with averages of that speed throughout the uh, creation of the entire wave, uh, where, in truth, the actual speed <laughs> is variable and uh, 
that's when the sound barrier is broken, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, um, but yeah, I need those kind of more specific objections to deal with and to challenge. Uh, and yes, I have the responsibility of doing the minutia math and, uh, you know, that is a little daunting. But anyway, I'll do my best, <laughs> you know, with the time I have available uh, under the circumstances and such. I really am, you know, <laughs> doing the best I can. I save rock for later. All right. So anything else? Um, yeah, there really isn't much. Nobody's making any videos. Uh, Fred the cunt <laughs> made some kind of video to, saying snarky shit. Uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know, like I care if Fred watches my videos or not. I, being a curious-minded person, do watch people's videos that I find uh, capable of producing videos of interest and certainly wouldn't worry about uh, whether the person's, you know, ugly in personality. <laughs> that would be incredibly irrelevant. So in a way, Fred's just a bigot. But whatever. That's what I'll call him in exchange and such. So anyway, I am here and I shall do my duty and such. So I'll talk to you later.